perpendicular to the ground, like this. Ready? Boop! Perfect. Look at that freaking cobra. He's beautiful. Perfect and beautiful, like the day that I got him. Did you see that? Friends and YouTube family, how the heck are you doing? You know the drill already. It's your boy, Tyler Nolan. Got Brandon Curtis here in the background. And today we are gonna be doing some snake training for Mr. Brandon over here. So just to fill everybody in, in case you've missed some episodes or whatever, Brandon works over here at the ranch now, helping me out full time. I took him from his pet store job that we're not going to mention where, but he was working somewhere. He ain't working there no more, baby. He's working for me now, man. No more of that crap. In the big leagues now. Doing big boy stuff. Not playing with leopard geckos and bearded dragons no more. I'm just kidding. Leopard geckos and bearded dragons are really cool for all the people that are watching this channel and you guys have them. I love, I love leopard geckos and bearded dragons. When I was a little tiny kid, those are some of the first lizards that I ever had. Before I was able to have Gila monsters, which are freaking awesome, your boy, believe it or not, I had a bearded dragon named Thor. He was my first bearded dragon. I don't even like Marvel or comics or whatever the heck Thor is. You know, I don't even know what it is. Leopard geckos and corn snakes. That's what... Your boy started breeding from day one when I was a little tiny kid, a little tiny 12 year old Tyler, breeding little snakes and stuff. Enough mumbo jumbo. Let's get started in today's video. We got all sorts of, as you can see, the snake room is looking beautiful, super, super clean. Check out the man cage. The cage up top, we are still trying to get fixed. We got to uh, put some new rivets on the back because that kind of came undone during transit when we were throwing these things around in the trucks and stuff. But then the bottom cage is where we have, oh, this doesn't look good. What the heck, how the hell did that happen? I guess a man must have. Must have pulled that down last night. I gotta secure that thing. But we put a new light in here yesterday. So now there's two plant lights and we got some live photos or photos or potholes or whatever the heck you guys wanna call this crap. This green stuff right here, okay? It's looking absolutely fantastic. We got our female mang right there. We got our male mang right up there. Just chilling, looking pretty and observing the rest of his enclosure. But we got some poop to clean today, so I am going to pretty much do a little instructional video for my boy Brandon. I'm gonna show him step by step. Obviously, he already knows a lot of things. I've been working with Venomous with him already, but we're gonna make an actual video verbally showing all you guys how exactly I go about training somebody who is just getting into Venomous and getting started. There's a few rules that we like to follow to make sure that you just practice safe handling and everybody keeps all of their fingers and you don't end up like me, okay? So that is what we're gonna do today. We got a big old poopy right here in the rattlesnakes cage. We're gonna start with that. Your boy Brandon still has, he's got his little bare feet, little Will Nace over here. I know Will Nace does all his venomous without shoes on, but at this house, we like to at least have slides on, okay? Oh, you gotta have slides on. Make sure there's holes inside the shoes so that way if a snake does bite it, a fang can go right through there and get you in the toe, okay? Very, very crucial. Make sure you got the proper footwear on. First things first, obviously, we already have uh, the lock off of the cage. Before you go into a venomous enclosure, you want to find out where the animal... First off, you want to find out how many animals are in the enclosure, most importantly. Because some of these cages not only just have one snake in them, but like these insularis have three snakes in them. So you want to go on here, make sure you read your label properly. This says 1.1, 1 .1, so obviously I know I have one male and one female in this enclosure. So I'm going to locate both of them. I already did locate both. Now, the way that I like to do it is you open up the glass with your hook, always, because that is when some funny business happens. These snakes have feeding responses. So when you open up the cages, a lot of the times they think that they are going to be fed. So as soon as you open up a cage, sometimes snakes will come lunging out after you. They will try to bite you. That is like one of the most dangerous parts about owning snakes is taking them out of their enclosures. Non-venomous and venomous goes for both. So what I want to do is open it up a little tiny bit. Now these vision cages are stacked up on each other. Sometimes it's hard to slide the glass. What you want to do is open it up a tiny, tiny little safe 
safe little tiny crack so that way you can stick your hook in there and open it up the rest of the way with the hook. Another really important thing about this is if these were mean snakes, say they're mambas or something or like a monocle that's crazy, thinks it's about to eat, you open up a cage like this, if you open it up all the way, it's really hard to grab this edge and close it if you really have to in an emergency. If these snakes were to act up and I really needed to get this cage closed, it's only halfway open, I can easily stick my hook here right in the corner, slide it closed just like that, all right? So that is very important that you also just want to keep in mind when working with venomous. So we're going to go back to halfway. We're going to grab this first snake, okay? We're going to leave her for second. Make sure that you have your containment area, your receptacle, whatever the heck you guys want to call it, your snake bins, your garbage cans, your freaking whatever the hell they are. We're going to go on in here. And the reason why I'm using rattlesnakes first is because Brayden is going to do a rattlesnake right after these. So I'm going to go in here. We're going to mid-body, grab the snake, let him know that we're not food and we're not here to feed him. So we're just going to slowly work his body so that way I can get a good portion of his tail out of the cage, just like this. His, cage, his head is all the way in the other area. So now I'm gonna safely grab him like this. And as you can see, I didn't just abruptly grab him. I slowly, slowly like this, barely touch him like this, very, very gently, okay? That is a huge thing with these snakes. You don't wanna go grabbing them like crazy and just have a firm grip on them because they will feel that they will turn around and they will try to bite you they do not like that one bit now that we got him safely out of his enclosure we're going to gently put him down in here all right while we are keeping in mind that there is an open cage behind me this is open there's still a rattlesnake inside that cage i'm going to keep track of behind me with my peripheral get him nice locked and secured Make sure the top is on here and there's no way they can push out. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to open this up just a tiny little bit more. Make sure I still have some space over there to close it if I need. So we're going to go in here. Very careful of their head. All right. You want to get her tail out first. And her tail, she's got poop all over her. Maybe Batman pooped on her. She's got poop all over her tail. So get her tail out just like that. Very nicely grab her. Don't drag her through the poop like I just did. There we go. You see she's riding my hook a little tiny bit. She's getting a little bit close to my hand, which for a mean rattlesnake is not good. Way too close to comfort. If this rattlesnake was super mean, it could easily, obviously I have a, par a portion of his body held with the hook right there, but I'm still technically within strike range. So you wanna be very careful with that. So now I'm gonna go ahead. Put her in the holding receptacle, nice and safely. Ease her down, don't just drop your snakes inside. Get the top from your partner. Close like so. And always, guys, always, 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 if you are handling venomous and taking care of your room, whatever, always have a homie with you, or at least even somebody at the house with you. If you have a venomous room that's, you know, away from, the rest of your house. You see, Brandon's not here, and I need to come out to the snake room and check on things. I always let Gianna know. I'm like, hey, listen, I'm gonna go out to the snake room right now. Just check on me, you know, because she needs to. If something were to happen to me in here, thank God we have Wi-Fi in here now. I got a modem put in the other room, so that way we have cell phone service out here. Because before, our phones didn't work at all, which is extremely, extremely, extremely important. Make sure you have cell phone service, guys. Make sure if something does happen, you can call somebody. And get help. That's the worst thing ever is having something happen and you got nobody helping you out. So now we safely have the animals out of the enclosure. I'm going to go ahead and spot clean all of this poop and fluff up all of the other uh, aspen that we have in here right now. Get it looking right. I got to go to Wild Cargo later and buy some more bales of this stuff. I really love, this is my favorite aspen, this really thin, stringy stuff. It just looks great in the cages. It smells great. It absorbs all the poop and the smell. Like, I know you guys can't smell this room right now, but dude, it smells great. You can barely tell that I keep snakes in this room because we keep it so freaking clean. Look at that fluff job. Woo! So what I like to do is just spot clean it and then fluff it all up so it looks nice and brand new and it's great. Got the snakes out of the cage. Got the cage safely maintenance. All right, now it's time to put them back. 
So, what you're gonna do, holding receptacle, okay? Obviously this trash can has a little opener right here. So what I'm gonna do is pop that top like that, okay? You're gonna open up like this, okay? Sometimes when you open up the can, your head will be right here, like right at the top, okay? So you don't want that to happen. If there was a mamba or something like that, come flying out, high pan, whatever, you know? There's definitely some snakes that you wanna be really careful about the lift. The rattlesnakes are so heavy bodied and so heavy, they don't really stay up there, so I don't really have to worry about them too lot. So, we got our female right here, Robin. Now what we're gonna do, you see how there's a bunch of loops. We got a loop here, we got a loop here, and there's an opening right there. So right here, more towards the end of the body is where you're gonna wanna place that hook. Because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna hook the animal, and when I start to lift her up a little bit, her tail is gonna start to go through that hook, and I'm just gonna grab the end of it like so, the lock. Pick it up like that. Her tail is gonna go on the hook just like so. Grab that midsection lower end of her body. Just like that, nice and perfect. Another thing with venomous snakes is keeping them perpendicular to the ground like this. They like their bodies totally supported. If a snake does not feel supported, they're gonna freak out and get all flaily and that's not what you want them to do. So we're just gonna go ahead, give her some nice little rubs like this with the snake hook, slowly coax her into her cage. Her, her rattle is starting to grow back. You remember when her rattle broke off, it only had two buttons on it, and now it's probably got about maybe seven or eight buttons on it. So she's doing freaking great. So now that I got Robin back in there safely, let's see if your boy can put Batman back. Now Brandon, keep in mind, there is a rattlesnake inside this tank already. See, she's right there. Her head is right now, right on the other side of here. So I don't want Brandon standing over here. This is the no, no danger zone. No, 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 no. You don't want to be over here. This is bad, bad, okay? So what I want you to do is work from this angle, okay? So you're gonna safely, boop, you know the drill, safely remove the lid. See how Batman is acting first with your snake hook. And then you're gonna safely right into here without turning your back to that other rattlesnake, okay? See how Brandon was just doing? He was gonna open it up like this. What I like to do is just safely, sometimes you have to unclip these things, use the lid as shelter, okay? So we're gonna just use, put your hand up here and unclick it like that. So that way, if there is any funny business going on and the snake does strike out, he's gonna hit this lid. He's not gonna hit your hand. So now it's nice and loose, loosey goosey, the way you like it. Mr. Lincoln, Batman is chilling. I'm gonna take this from you. Always hand this off to your partner. Put it somewhere out of the way, nice and safe. There we go, perfect, perfect. Now you're gonna wanna get him right there. Perfect, all right, get that boy out. Let me see. He is heavy, heavy, heavy. All right, yep, yep. Do the little dance, perfect, perfect. Now you wanna go the opposite way that his head goes like you just did, you did that perfectly. There we go, look at that, perfect. Now, she is in the back, you're nice and safe. Let him crawl in there nice and slowly. And let's just appreciate how beautiful that freaking rattle is. Look at that thing, god dang, man. That's a beautiful snake, so nice. Give it a little tickle tickle. Take the leaf, tickle, tickle. 12 pounds? Try 20 pounds, bro. That's a heavy snake. No, that is a heavy snake. Yeah, that'll make you sweat, don't it? Close it nice and safely. Watch that rattle. If you break that rattle, Brandon, you're going to be looking for a new job. I'm just kidding. But seriously, don't break that thing. It's beautiful. Like, God, look at that thing. People say size doesn't matter. I beg to differ. All right, so now, boom. Put them in there, close, safe and secure. Hey, don't leave me hanging there, bud. You killed it. Ugh, not bad for an Amish guy. Not bad, bro. I was worried you weren't be able to, you couldn't see underneath that beard for a second, mm. you know? Blind Thing spot. gets in the way, that little blind spot. You can't see down below. That's why I shaved my face like this, because if I had, you know, a little Bay Blinken stash going on, I wouldn't be able to see down there, but. It's working for you. So the next piece of poop I see, well, we have this uh, Central American rattlesnake right here. You see, left a nice, juicy, freaking 
spash a meatball down there, as your boy Chandler would say. But also, Shatid has a little poopy doop right now. So, the next snake I want you to do is this female king cobra, okay? okay. No, not okay. <laughs> not okay! You see that? He dressed me! He was like, yo, yo, I'm gonna take out Shatid. No, you think I'm gonna let you do that, bro? You just started. Oh, the enthusiasm. He's a good one. Let's get your teeth out. Just kidding when I said Brandon was going to do that. Eventually, maybe in the next few months, Brandon has actually handled Rusty the other day um, at Stone's house, actually. Just because Rusty is such a placid, just chill, awesome King Cobra. He was already out of the cage. I had to let, you know, you have to. Like, come on, it's freaking Rusty. So, that's not what we're doing. Rusty's cage is clean because he has not had a meal since Stone's house. We're probably going to give him a meal maybe tomorrow or on Thursday. We'll make a video, obviously, because I know you guys want to see that. But right now, we're going to get out my girl, Shatid. So like I did before, carefully open up the cage, get it halfway open because she does want to fly out. If she does fly out, boom, we can close it really, really easily. Okay, go in here, see where she's at. Her head's right there. I want to grab the first loop that I see. Go ahead, grab her by her tail. Sometimes I like to take the hide boxes out first because she'll do it what she just did and just kind of slither around it and kind of use it as a little obstacle for me so that way it's harder for me to take her out. But you can tell she's doing freaking great. I love my love. Her scales on the top of her head are looking pretty good. Even that rostral scale on the front of her head is healing up almost 100%. One more shed. And this sink will be 100% looking perfect and beautiful like the day that I got her. Did you see that? God, she's so freaking cute though. Bright orange underneath the hood. I love it. Look at this beautiful sink. Look at her. She's getting big, man. And I remember when she didn't even fill up the bottom of that trash can. Now she takes up the whole thing. So let's get her secure. Snake hook on top of the receptacle. When we're working in the snake room, it's another little thing that I like to do. If there's a snake inside of here, Always take a snake hook, leave it on top, just like that. So that way, anybody else that's working in the room with me, everybody always knows, especially my friends that do venomous with me, they know if they're over here helping me, and there's a freaking trash can with a snake hook on it, that means don't open it. That means there's something inside of there that is dangerous and can mess you up, and to use caution when opening. So let's go in here. Oh, we got some stuck poop to the bottom of it. Oh, get that off. Get all this poop out of here, get this thing fluffed up, and get my sweetheart back in her enclosure. Let's put your teeth back. Take my hook, open it up halfway, okay? Nice little opening right here to put her back. Close it if things get crazy, but we'll see if things don't get crazy. I'm gonna keep it like that. Click it open, okay? Go in here. Check to make sure she's not up top, but she is not. You see, she is at the bottom, chilling. Got two loops. Get this outside loop that's closer to the end of her tail. Okay, just like that, like so. Grab the end of her tail. Don't, hey, that's your boyfriend. Or your brother, your brother boyfriend, your sister cousin, or whatever the hell is gonna be going on with this incestual relationship y'all got going on. So we're gonna take her like that. Look, she's about to go right in there on her own. I fluffed up the aspen, it looks beautiful, nice and clean. We clean the glass, looking great. Give her a little tickle tickle and she's gonna come back and try to kill me because you're so nice, right, you little jerk. Close it, safe. We only got a couple other freaking cages that we have to spot clean, like this Central American rattlesnake that I will do off camera when we're done doing this video. I have Alex on his way over here right now. Not Alex Pepe, I wish Pepe was on his way over. I miss him, I miss him dearly. But my friend Alex, who's been helping out building the property with me, helps out with little tours and stuff with the electricity, with all that stuff. But we have this little sink right here that Alex is gonna install today to make our lives a little bit easier. Kilo. Needs to be cleaned. Look, he's got some poop in there. We've been feeding him a lot. Kilo has eaten, what, three times since he's been home already? So he's definitely, I know it's only been, what, a week and a half, and he's already eating a lot. We're trying to get some weight on him again. Now we're going to have you take out Kilo safely. Thank you for the keys. Okay, lock is off. Cage is ready to go. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to use this as a shield. Oh, I'm going to shield it. Ow, no, no, don't put a cobra by me. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. All right, enough funny talk. I know, you look so serious, Mr. Lincoln. You gotta be, bro. My heart's racing. Your heart's racing? A little bit. A little bit. Adrenaline. Oh, yeah, it is a little thumping. All right, let's go. Open it up. 
Perfect. I would like to see, I would like to see your hand more towards the handle, just to be honest, you know? Not bad, but you know, let's, let's stay safe over here, okay? I know if Brandon's mommy is watching this video, uh, I'm trying to keep your son Brandon nice and safe, mommy, I promise. I know he's over here working with some deadly animals and stuff, but I'm gonna keep him as safe as possible. Look how good he's doing. So Brandon's taking out this hide box first. Yep, you can even just rip, 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 drop it on the phone right now. Look, Kilo's ready to say hi to you. Hello, handsome man. Oh, you're so pretty. I love that freaking snake. There we go. That's the one right there. See? Perfect. Oh, I love watching you grow up and learn, Brandon. You're doing so great. Now get him out. There we go. Perfect. Look at that freaking cobra. He's beautiful. Safely put him in here. Let me go ahead. Grab the lid right here because your dude's not paying attention because he's filming. All right. Put it on like that. Nice and safe. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Brandon, you're learning so fast. Here we go. Time to put Mr. Kilo back. Look at this. Nice and fluffed. We're missing something, though. Water bowl, bro. Where's his freaking water? He's gonna die. He's thirsty, dude. He needs to drink. Here we go. We got we got H2O. All right, open it up safely. Look at that. Kilo, you're not very happy right now. It's okay. You're gonna be happy when you go in your nice, new, clean cage. You hissy man. You hissy. Don't bite yourself. Don't do that. That's not very nice. Here we go. Look at you. Freaking professional over here. You see how he just gave it a second? He gave Kilo a second to figure out what he was doing. That's good. I see that. Look at you. Look at you, bro. You're professional, bro. You're so, I'm so freaking proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, too. I'm proud of you. Ready? Boop. <laughs> Dude. Like Crushed it. Beautiful. I love when things go well. It's so nice. A little nice little training session. We got a lot of cleaning to do though today. I just wanted to film a quick little training video. Look, the tattoo room is at an absolute disaster. Alex is at my gate right now. He's going to put in the sink. So stay tuned, guys. More venomous adventures in the reptile building. I'm so freaking pumped. Back to work, guys. Comment down below. How happy are you guys that we're back in the action doing this thing? But unfortunately, that is it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope some of you guys learned something more importantly. That's why we're going to be making these handling videos. Teach you guys how to work with, this ven with venomous snakes. If that's what you're into and you're interested in doing it. Oh, look at Otis back here running after us. TylerNolanTattoos.com for all of your merch. Please go support your boy. Buy some t-shirts. Some other things I got on the website, baby clothes, kids clothes, adult clothes, all that stuff. We have a lot of stuff to do here today. I'll see you on the next one. Love you. Later. God bless.